What up squad, welcome back to the channel, it's your boy. Listen, do you guys remember when Anaris Q made the tweet that I'm the English voice of Yoruichi and Bleed Thousand Year Blood War? Like she made it clear that she was the English dub actor. Now that tweet has been updated to something else. Now it says, hey y'all, the studio and client decided to go in a different direction, so I am no longer voicing Yoruichi and Bleed Thousand Year Blood War and my recordings will be replaced. It meant a lot to take on such an iconic woman of color. I appreciate all the love, hard cat. I'll still be voicing Hiyori. It is ridiculous that the studio would even do this after one episode. I say this because I did make a comment about it when she first came on to screen when Yoruchi's return came in English. And I was so like hyped for it because I thought it was gonna be Wendy Lee. But then I threw this tweet out there with the video and people were saying, that's not Wendy Lee, that's such a, I'm like, huh? And then even I like in the tweet question, that doesn't sound like the, the original Yodoichi. Like I was questioning like, who is this? And then there's Q, you know, came out with that tweet that she's the official English, you know, the VA for Yodoichi now. And she got her praise and she got her flowers for it. But with this tweet stating that she's been recasted and her clips will be replaced and she'll still be voicing Yodi, it just blows my mind that Viz didn't just go with Wendy Lee from the get-go. I don't know what the issue was. Nothing against Anaris whatsoever, but what is the studio doing? This is the same issue that most people had with David Lodge not coming back as Kenpachi. David Lodge had like the following and people voiced their opinion on it, but they never like gave David Lodge that role. They just went ahead and just kept Patrick Seitz, who was a fantastic BA by the way. Fantastic BA, he also voices Ishin and many iconic roles in video games and anime. So there's that as far as Patrick Sites go, he's the man. Something must have happened and it had to be part of the backlash from a lot of people that they wanted the original VA for Yodoichi to come back. And don't get me wrong, Wendy Lee was still in the anime, but it was just weird that she went from one of the major roles to a side role. The choice is just odd. This happening after just one week of hearing her voice is odd. Um, glad that she's still voicing Hiyori. I mean, it is what it is, but I'm also glad that when he leaves back as Yoruichi, I've heard a clip um, of the English dub and she sounds fantastic. Matter of fact, I'll go ahead and show that to you. They're invading the royal palace. That means they're after the soul king. As I said before, I'm glad that she's back and she shouldn't have been recasted anyways, but it is what it is, whatever. Uh, but that's really all I got for you guys. I know a lot of people are disappointed that they won't hear Anaris Q as Yodoichi, but most of us who watched the original OG Bleach are just as excited that Wendy Lee has returned and they didn't go with someone else. And that's all I got for you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what your thoughts are on Wendy Lee coming back and what you think about Anaris Q being replaced or Anaris Q should have continued playing Yodoichi so we got more voice lines from her to really see where it leads. Subscribe to the channel. Follow on socials like always. Until next time, holla at your boy. I'm out.